So, you know what's really funny is that uh, I screened the movie yesterday. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, dying laughing oh. the whole time. Mr. Chow is so evil. Yeah. <laughs> but honestly, he was kind of funny before, and now he's evil. What right. happened to him? Well, he was a villain in the first yeah. one, right? I mean, so he threatened their lives in the first one. So I think that he was more of a fun-loving in the second one. But you really get to see, like, a full arc of Chow in the third one. He really is the devil. Like, he, But you're absolutely right. I mean, he, I mean, he's Lucifer. I mean, the, the wolf pack does a deal with the devil to get dug back in the first movie. Yeah. And then the second and third movies, like, is all about kind of... Con- He's a, he's a human face of consequence, you know what I mean? And, and so, and now the Wolfpack, like particularly Alan, played by Zach Galifianakis, he wants to move on with his life and, and let go of the past, but the only way to do that is to, to dance with this guy, dance you know. Dance with the devil. Dance with the devil one more time. And, and just when you think the devil's out of the picture, you know, like think again, you know, he's yeah. always around. So. Did you ever think Leslie Chow was gonna be this big of a character come part three? Never, I mean, look, I, I just, uh, this is the biggest part I've ever had in my life. And so I was just so grateful just to, I just, I remember just wanting to be in the third one because I didn't know I would even have a part in the third one. So after the second one where Chow goes to prison, I'm like, I'm just hoping, like I was thinking, oh God, I hope they bring me back for the third one. And, and this one, they just gave me such a big role. I, I, it, I don't know, it's an embarrassment of riches. And I'm, Mr. Chow's, you know, he's my favorite character I've ever played. And I just, cause, he, cause I can do anything with that character. I, there, you can say or do anything yeah. that you can't do in real life. Well, you gotta keep that voice going the whole time too. Yeah, yeah, it's a I, hard. I was gonna say, just sort of, ah, I, yeah. I, can't, I can't do it. I'm not even gonna try. It, well, my wife's Vietnamese and it's kind of like reflected a little bit on that, but then I just <laughs> make it big and over the top. Does she so. know that you, you Oh yeah, oh. Okay. Well, in, uh, in, in the first movie, I speak Vietnamese. Yeah. There was, there was a thing where I said, uh, in the first movie, I, I say, got chick, we're, we're releasing Doug, who's turns out to be Black Doug in the first movie. It was just an in-joke between me and why I, I would just like say, chicken die. It was just, that's all what it means. Chicken? chicken die in the first, I'd say, got chick, and that's what it means for chicken die. And I say that just to like, you just kind of like mess around with like, it was all like making fun at like kind of the, the dialogue that a lot of Asian actors have to say, you know, because they say anything as a placeholder in those right. movies, so you're make, kind of making fun of that stereotype in many yeah. ways, yeah. You've got uh, twin daughters. Twin daughters, How yes. How old are they now? They're five. Five, okay. So if someone was to yell that, when you, when you've got your daughters in hand, what do you, how do you explain that? Fortunately, that, that's never happened, okay. so I thank God. I, you know, it's funny you say that, though. I've never said this in an interview. When I'm with my kids, like, even fans are by and large so nice they'll know not to yell those things in front of my kids mm-hmm. so a lot of times it'll be like you know hi and then they'll whisper we love you mr chow you know like that it'll be like that where they won't say you know they won't be yelling right. you know won't and be yelling curse words i find actually fans by and large will be very discreet and because when 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 i'm with my kids they're infinitely more polite you know and they'll just whisper like you know we love you yeah. You know, it's really cute. Yeah. It's, uh, Alexa and Zoe? I don't know their names. No. I haven't I haven't seen them in months. No. Alexa and Zoe, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're their names, yeah. Now, have they watched The Hangovers? No, no. No, you won't let them watch that. No, right? no, 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 Will no, they no. ever be allowed to watch that? Well, I guess they'll sneak at some point. Oh, no, I'll never allow them. They're not going to leave the house. No, <laughs> oh, they ain't going. No, they'll, you know, of course they're going to watch it at some point in time. I, th- I think, though, my wife and I have, like, we pride ourselves on having a good sense of humor about life. And I think, and they know that, this is what daddy loves to do for a living. And, and creatively, I mean, I know everyone makes a big deal about the naked thing, and well as they should, but if you read the script, like, that was my idea to do it naked. So it wasn't like anyone forced me to. And it was, jumping out of the trunk, I, I was supposed to have clothes on. And like, what? what it wouldn't be the same. It wouldn't be the hangover. Yeah. So, and I'm thinking to myself, like, what self-respecting actor would do it with their clothes on? You know, because people are like, what self-respecting actor would take their clothes off? No, 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 no. Creatively, what self-respecting actor would keep their clothes on to jump out of a trunk? And you got to keep it going. You right? got to keep go it. You once. got it. Well, and then everything else just everything else just took a life of, of its own, you know. Yeah. And so, so for me, th- this has just been like the I, every bit of work I've had in the last four years I owe to the to the hangar. I mean, it's the only reason why I'm talking to you right now yeah. is because of the hangover. Let's talk about uh, uh, community, which is yeah. a massive fan. Thank you. We community. are having so much love in Canada. Thank you, Canada. We, love, we actually show Thank you. community on City, right. which is where you are right. right now. Changnesia, which is Thank you so crazy. much. Senior Chang, of course. Um, 
now you're going into season four. No, no. you finished season four. You're going to season five. We just got know? renewed like on Friday. Awesome. Um, so. When did you start shooting? I don't know. Like I'm the last to know these things. I mean, I mean nowadays everything's on, everything's on the internet. Like I get, mm -hmm. I literally get all for, all information for renewal or any of that or hiatus, all from the internet, just like everybody else. Yeah. You, you'd be surprised. You think we know, but no, but we don't. So, I mean, hopefully sometime later on this year. I, but I really don't know. I really don't know. What do you want to do with Chang, that character? What would you like to see with him? I mean, he's kind of gone full circle. He's kind of gone full circle. I mean. Sometimes, yeah, I mean, you, some, of the, some of the blessings and also some of the risk of what they're doing with Chang, every year to year it changes, you know. Mm -hmm. Spanish professor one year, student next year, security guard third year, and Changnesia fourth year. I mean, you know, uh, in the writer's defense, the only way they could bring Chang back in the fourth year was to have him have Changnesia because he was such a dictator, such a despot, you know, in the third season, he was basically exiled from the school. So I, I, I was just thankful that, you know, they brought me back for a fourth year. And then, so I, I loved all four storylines. I mean, I, I look at like community, uh, it sounds weird to say, cause I had no formal acting training. I feel like community is kind of like my, my theater company or like my experimental theater. I get to try out a different tweak of a character every year and yeah. it just makes me a better actor so well, I love it one last question for you I've got to ask you about yeah. being a doctor you have renewed your license right yeah so you can technically you're in a, your GP I'm a GP yeah, yeah. so you, I, I could just go to you and you'd be able to help me out with something I mean would I'd, you ever go back I I would uh, I can't go back and practice the way I'm practicing you know the way I did before I think yeah. I'd be I think now it might be the face recognition might be too too intense for a patient to trust. It would make someone nervous. Yeah, it would make someone more nervous. You know, if I'm treating a patient with anxiety disorder and they're like, "Why is Mr. Chow treating me?" You know, <laughs> you can't awesome. like, you can't really like, you know, make an impact. But I think down the line, I think maybe years later when I get older, I would definitely love to return to medicine or maybe behind the scenes do some administrative work or like free clinic charity work stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. 